And we know that Donald Trump has actually asked GOP leaders to get behind him or be quiet. Be quiet. Literally be, be quiet, quiet is what he right? said, yeah. Paul Ryan addressed the mounting tension, though, when he was asked about rescinding his endorsement of Trump. Let's take a listen. That's not my plan. I don't have a plan to do that. Look, we're going to agree to disagree on some things. That's just the way things work. Mitt Romney and I didn't agree on everything. Uh, what we do agree on is we don't want another Democrat in the White House, I can tell you that. Uh, and we do have a lot of common ground on a lot of things that we think will, will move us in a better way in this country. He's a different kind of candidate. This is a different kind of year. Uh, I'm going to be myself and speak up in defense of our principles, in defense of not just our party's principles, but our country's principles. As conservatives, we want to conserve our founding principles, liberty, freedom, self-determination, our Bill of Rights. Those are very important principles. No matter what, we're going to defend those principles. I do, though, believe that the last thing we want is a Democrat in the White House like Hillary Clinton. So, Caitlin, do you think Donald Trump, as big as he thinks he is in his mind, can pull off a win for the White House without the backing of key Republicans? He thinks he can, but it's very difficult. Remember, Donald Trump does not really have a campaign infrastructure. He is starting to do some fundraising events with the RNC, but past nominees started that process a long time ago, and that's really critical in states to not only uh, you know get get the motivate people to turn out to vote, but really help these state parties, which many of them are struggling, mobilize supporters, especially in battleground states. He's not done that. Paul Ryan endorsed Donald Trump out of a uh, party unity message, um, hoping to kind of rally the troops against Hillary Clinton is also something that Republicans have wanted to do. And Donald Trump at nearly every turn has been disappointing them in that regard. They looked at this week in particular as a week to really kind of change the, the trajectory of the race, given the attacks, given what we're seeing in polling, that voters respond better to Trump than Clinton when it comes to handling national security and foreign policy. Uh, or, and, sorry. And terrorism, but they graded his response to the Orlando attack specifically very poorly. Yeah. Uh, so Republicans are grappling with that and trying to uh, figure out ways to actually move beyond Trump now, uh, figuring out ways to create their own climate, especially those who are vulnerable in Senate and House races. I mean, it's fascinating that uh, Paul Ryan says that the things that are important to the Republican Party, freedom, the Bill of Rights, as if, A, the other side doesn't believe in freedom and the Bill of Rights, but also, interestingly enough, the candidate, the presumptive Republican nominee has threatened members of the press. He's threatened to go beyond the Geneva Conventions. All the things that no matter where you stand on the on whether you're a Republican or a Democrat are an anathema to uh, an American. Sure. And when it comes to Republicans specifically, one of the reasons they started to coalesce around Donald Trump was because they thought he could uh, campaign on their message. Right. Remember, Paul Ryan is in, a, in the process of an unveiling a series of proposals aimed at you know, showing the electorate what the Republican Party wants to be. Donald Trump has made no overtures or any signs, really, that he will campaign on those issues. So told that's still quiet. a big question Yeah, mark. he told him to be quiet. Right. Caitlin <laughs> Huey Burns and Heidi Presbola, thank you, ladies, very much. Thank you. And stay with CBSN for live coverage this evening at 8.30 Eastern. Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders will address his supporters. We're going to be clearly very interested to hear what he has to say.